Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby, thanks for joining us. We are middle of the week already. Can you believe it? It is flying over and an exciting day to bring to you. Actually, we've got a really brilliant rest of the week lined up when I think about it. We are working on some fun bits for the rest of the week. I won't say too much, but some fun stuff coming up Friday. Fun stuff coming up tomorrow as well. You know, yesterday we were talking about cartloads, like you asked, didn't you? You were like, oh, make it really fun. Mm, stay tuned. And um, today, well, another fun day because we have got March Reloaded coming up for you a little bit later on where we're going to be bringing you, well, all of the great launches that we had during March, uh, what we've got left of them. Uh, and in this show, talking of launches, something brand spanking new. Yes, uh, it is uh, the fantastic uh, cluster lift dies, which we'll get onto in just a few moments time. You've got the full collection, you've got the showstopper and a limited amount of a half price bonus buy, which again, I will tell you more about in just a second. Don't forget also, it is the second day of our spring sale over on the website where you can get up to 70% off selected items. I say selected, there's hundreds of items there already with more to be added over the course of the next week or so whilst that spring sale is gonna be live. So plenty to look out for, plenty to look forward to and plenty to look forward to over the course of this show because as I say, it is a brand new launch. Before I take you into it and say a hellos, let's say the most important hello to the sharpest dressed man in town. Oh, no, not me. Uh, it's the one and only. He's got that new suit on again. Look, he's. I mean, you, mate, you look. It's Craig. Whoa. Stop it. Thank you. Can I just clarify? It's a clean white shirt. It's oh, the, the same shirt, white yeah. shirt as yesterday. It is a clean white shirt. But yes, I thought I'll put the suit on. You know, it's a big week this week. He's Incredible a sharp week. dressed man. Do, 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 yeah, we're all yeah. hyped. We're all ready to go. Yes, we've got launch day. We are, of course. Can you believe it, Ben? We are four days away. Well, three days from technically what, from what? away. From WrestleMania. WrestleMania. WrestleMania, yes. So we're hyped up, ready to go. We're going to bring that hype within this launch day here. Where we've got the brand new cluster dies. Now, you may have seen a range that we done the other year where they were individual, completely different designs, but they were all individual. Now, that's great because you can position them where you want, but with these ones here, they're all in one die. So then that means if you're wanting to do your smaller cards, you can do that. If you're wanting to go in and do things such as your stepper cards, you can do that. All of these, where they've got that cluster of this one, for instance, has got the butterfly. Let's just take my pokey tool just so you can see all of the wings. These all pop out, but you've got accent detail that pops out. So, you know, with the little stars in here, the little dots, they all die cut out. You've got your floral cluster, so you can start to do your inking over the top if you want. You've got your stars as oh, well. Wow. And each of these, again, all the clusters and designs, these all pop pop up. The center stays in place, but the edges all pop up. We've got the dragonflies as well. So if we just pop these up with the pokey tool, we can do that. We can then lift this back layer and then put acetate at the back. We can do shakers underneath there with the wings just popping up. Yeah. Now, each of these dies are on a panel, so you can elongate them if you want to. You can twist them and turn them into things such as your easel cards. Again, all the petals of the flowers, these all cluster and pop up. And then you've got detail that we can paper piece back in like we are going to do. We've got the love hearts as well. So within the love hearts, each of the individual section, they all pop up within different Beautiful. layers and different widths. So you've got the love hearts. And then let's repeat the designs that we've shown you within different ways. You can do your inking, you can do your slim line. That can go around a bottleneck if you want to. Lift with your foam pads here. I mean, theater cards, diorama cards, box lids. But then what about using it, Ben? to do the framework. Love that what idea. What about framing round your photos? What about repeating the die two times, three times, four times, making your big cars, your big platforms? You can absolutely do that. Every design that you've got, the base, the body stays in place, but the wings or the petals, these then lift up. These are incredible, fun concept, and you're gonna be able to use them with your cards, your boxes, your memory book pages, and we're gonna do a variety of different techniques within the next couple of hours. Yep, we've got Jan on the social, so any comments, any questions, fire them in. We'd love to hear from you. Lynn Harvey, lovely Lynn, says, hello, Pen Craig, the amazing team, the wonderful social superstar, and everyone 
Hope you're all enjoying your day. We are. Polly Co says, a fabulous day to all from Blamstown, Florida. Fabulous day to you. Uh, and Sarah Brown says, hello again, my favorite boys. Yes, of course, that's you, Craig. Oh, and Ben, I can't leave you out. You tease you. <laughs> you. That's not what you say when he's not here, is it? Hey, we know. Hey, we know. Um, also, she says, my buddy Frankie went home this afternoon. Uh, so no snuggles. Um, I think about Frankie I hadn't noticed before is he has two different colour eyes. One is like a hazel brown and the other is blue. He should have been called Bowie, as in David Bowie. He had two different eye colours too. He did, didn't he? He did. Uh, Lois says, good morning, everyone from Ohio. Good morning. Uh, Sharon Tidmus says, good afternoon, uh, Jan, Ben, Craig and the CTV crew. Looking forward to this one. Sandra Dundas says, hi, Ben, Craig, crew, superstar, Jan and all my crafty chums. And hi to Christian who says, good afternoon, Ben and Craig and all my crafty friends worldwide. Uh, Dawn Lavalley says, hi, Ben and Craig and crafters. And Dawn also says, two sharp dressed men. Where? 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 To be fair, we did take a smurdling smurdling smoldering, smoldering photo mm. earlier on, just beforehand. Yeah. I think it was a good, your, good photo, actually, because I, I was feeling a bit tired today. I thought I, my face was a bit tired, but in the photo, we were like that. Yeah, we were looking good. Yeah, we did, we did yeah. look good. Anyway, um, talking of looking good, the showstopper for the cluster lift eyes, see what I did there, brought it back, brought it back, is uh, right here for you. It's a fantastic deal because, again, what we're doing is we're bringing you the brand new set of cluster lift eyes and a whole host of other goodies where you're not paying the full price. And I'll take you through those in just a second. You've seen the majority of the designs with Craig so far and the kind of things that you can do with these. Um, just fantastic. It's great as well, isn't it, that you've got the ability to kind of multi-use these, um, whether you want to create sort of longer um, strips with these, whether you want to kind of intersperse different designs in with these two. And, of course, with each and every one of them, you've got the ability uh, to lift up those um, clusters of whether it be the stars, whether it be the hearts. I love this um, effect with the star, the way you've got all of those um, different smaller hearts that you can lift out of the actual design itself. Also in there, of course, you know, it wouldn't be a set without things like our dragonflies and our butterflies. And here again, you're going to uh, get your pokey tool and just pop those wings out from underneath, you know, backing these onto maybe some glitter car, making little shakers out of these as well. Uh, there is your beautiful set of butterflies. Um, and then, of course, you know, you've got flowers in here. So think about that beautiful sort of springtime, summertime cards combining the flowers with the butterflies and those stunning dragonflies and two sets of florals in there as well, actually. Uh, that one is called your floral cluster. If you're going for these individually, that one there is your bouquet cluster. So if you just wanted to uh, pick and choose these, you can. But you get all of those brand new dies within the showstopper. £56 or £86.40. Now, the goodies that you're going to get on top within the showstopper, you should pay an extra £54 or $70 for. However you only pay £20 or $30 for. So all of these goodies that you're seeing right here, we're going to be giving you um, a set of your low tack tape. You're also going to be getting your multi-purpose card or card, as we now call it, 60 sheets of card. Behind that, you've also got your Regal Rose um, 12 by 12 card stock. Absolutely uh, beautiful there with a glitter card and then your uh, matching pearl card in there too. We're going to give you one of our shimmer sprays, the Firelight Shimmer that you can see down the bottom. You've got a set of pokey tools. You've got your two tape pens as well, one glue dot, one glue pen. All of that should, we, we should be charging you 54 or 74. We're not. It's 20 or 30 within the bundle, 56 pounds or 86.40. Now, that's marvellous. So you've got your choices. Go individually, marvellous. Go for the collection on its own, marvellous. Go for the showstopper, who marvellous. But the brilliant thing is, if you go for the showstopper, there's a bonus buy. That's the good news. The bad news is we have less than 100. I know, I'm bad news bear, what am I like? Uh, we've less than 100 bonus buys, not showstoppers, but bonus buys. So the first, I think there's about 80 of these left now because it's been so busy already. Uh, the first round about 80, I'll get you exact numbers shortly. Um, we'll get the bonus buy, which is your pigment ink pad selection that you're seeing here. It's on the website. This is the price here, £50 or $78. However, put this into your basket with your showstopper. Ha! Oh, half price. That was my what? £25 that comes down to, or um, $39, and then you're going to get your um, platinum price off that as well, obviously, if you're a platinum member. So uh, let us show you all the colours that you're going to be getting here uh, within this set. You're going to get your plum jam. You're going to get your lemon tonic. You're going to get the Bordeaux. You know. Parakeet. Love the parakeet. Oh, yes. And the ocean blue as well. Went into a bit of uh, Macho Man Randy Macho Man. for a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You've got your pink tulip. 
you have your spring meadow, opaque, opaque, orange. Wow, I read opaque, and even though I do know that is orange, look, that is definitely orange. And then last, but by no means least, your twilight grey. <laughs> Uh, so you're getting all of those in there for half price, but you're going to have to be very quick if you want to get those. It is limited quantities for the first people who jump in and buy the showstopper. And before I say a few more quick hellos, one thing I must just mention. Back in stock. Back in stock. Back in stock. Back in stock. The Shimmer Watercolour Palette uh, collection is back. So you've got your Sunbeam and your Moonbeam. And uh, hang on a minute. I'm free! I'm free! Holy sugar! Holy sugar! <laughs> holy sugar! <laughs> yes, holy sugar. Uh, you're going to get the brushes free within the bundle. $39.98 or $47.92 is the platinum price on these. Uh, we were literally just informed before we came live that these are back in stock. So if you missed out on them first time, you know what to do. If you've not yet received them, I'm sorry, if you have already got them and you love them, get them again because they will run out eventually. Uh, and I know Craig, um, because he is magnificent, is going to be um, using these at some point during the day today to show you um, just how amazing these are. So get them whilst you can, and as I say, we'll give you the brushes for free within that bundle. Right, a few quick hellos, and then we'll get into it, because the uh, time is disappearing. Elizabeth Maldonado is in from Columbus, Georgia. Hello also to Cindy, uh, who's joined us from a dismal central Massachusetts. Uh, we're expecting a storm, apparently. Uh, Jeffrey Langley says, happy hump day, Ben and Craig, and the outstanding and marvellous CTV crew. Hi. Hi, Teresa, who says, Ben and Craig, good morning, my whimsical friends, and good Cody Rhodes, it says here. Oh, an American nightmare. Is he actually watching? I think he's platinum. He's platinum. He? Will he be getting ready for his big, big fight, though? Or fights. He, he will, his fights, yeah. Mm. Yep. Uh, Michael Adams says, good afternoon to the crafting duo. Sarah Brown says, OK, Ben, you are my favourite lead presentation lead guy, and Craig is my favourite crafty guy. Well done. That's well good. done. Very clever. Well done. So you did. And Margaret Burt says, hi, both, and team. Uh, looks lovely. The dyes especially for the stars. I can see them coming my way and the flowers. Right, well, let us get into these and dive in. Anything you want to see, anything you want to know, anything you want to ask, uh, be nice and interactive with us, and um, we'll have a good show. Craig is ready. He's poised. He's raring to go. Yes. Let's do it. Rightio, shall we do a card with the new launch using the Showstopper? Yeah. Let's use a card. We're using that rose gold cardstock. We're going to be using the shimmer spray as well, and then some of the components that we've got included. So, I've got our white cardstock. Now, I've cut it to four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and it's the white card that you're getting within the Showstopper. And we're going to go in now with the Firelight Sparkle. So, once again, this is the one that you get within the Showstopper it is. here. Personally, I know we said that yesterday I don't always like to shake my uh, sparkle, he my shimmers. He likes to keep it rolling, 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 rolling on. Yeah, the whole time, yeah, mm. I like it rolling. rolling. I just like <laughs> that ball bearing just to roll around, yeah. mix up all of that sparkle, and then it just means if you give it a shake, what can happen is you can start to get bubbles, oh, which okay. then could then start to, of course, clog, but also that you get bubbled effect when it comes to the cardstock. So I prefer just to roll it in the palm of my hand, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to spritz. That's it. That's all that I'm going to do. Now, of course, if you go closer, you're going to get, you know, bigger splodges further back. You're then going to be getting your lighter mist. So if I then move that one just out the way, if I take, I do have one dried, but this takes no time to dry at all, Ben. So yep. if I plug this in, and although I've got all the layers cut up, I'm just going to start to heat set that because I thought it's really it's really good when it comes to the shimmer spray just to show you me actually um, uh, applying it yeah and then it drying and using that same layer so what I mean by that is that's one I'd already done okay but what I've done is instead of just doing it further back over that whole area you'll maybe notice I aimed at the top corner first done a second spritz but down in the bottom corner so you've got that creative play do you want it being sections do you want it to kind of just spritz over the whole of your cardstock 
and this is going to give you that firelight, that red shimmer sparkle, but it looks absolutely phenomenal when we start to then, oh, but I mean, look yeah. at, Ben, that is our normal white card stock. Mm -hmm. So look at that, white card, matte white card, but then you can see, look at that. That's so if I go amazing. face on, oh, so I'm going yeah. to do the same again. We, yeah. Just our white matte card stock. So you can see, I'm there, not. When you flip it, do it again. Go, yeah. Turn it back the other way. Oh, there, there, there. There. <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> Uh, there, 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 there. That's it. There, look at That's that. That's it. Incredible. So that is no trickery. That is white cardstock that you've got within your showstopper bundle. But by using that shimmer spray, you're going to get the red, but you're going to get that kind. Essentially, it's like a pearlescent cardstock. So let's take our layers here. So let's use our rose gold. Remember, this is everything that you're getting within the showstopper. Mm -hmm. I've not even picked up the die yet from the brand new launch, but let's bring that one in. The firelit sparkle teams really well yeah. with the rose gold. I love how we've like put together a, a showstopper that works, if you know what I mean. We've yeah. not just gone, oh, just chuck a load of random stuff in. It's all been thought about, hasn't it? It brilliant. has, it has. And what tends to happen Ben, as we get, for instance, a couple of weeks ago, I knew that we had this launch. Yeah. And what happened is we don't always know what the showstopper is going to be till a couple of days before. Uh -huh. So therefore, I done all my prep. So that is why sometimes we don't always incorporate the showstopper in a full demo. Yeah. Because we've already done our prep. But it was of St. Nicola just before the show. I thought, do you know what's really good this time? Is I just spent a little bit extra time yesterday when I got home last night and had a play and just thought I would show you how you can incorporate the showstopper all together within one card. Yeah. Now this is just a grey cardstock from my stash. So any grey linen cardstock that you've got and even before we start to bring in the brand new launch that could be a great base bin for your um, any card mm -hmm. any card any project and I'm not sure you can you can kind of just see it. I actually changed my mind but if I take the backing off can you see originally I used that onto that rose gold card stock. Uh, okay. so yeah, you, you can, can. You can still do that, look at that. Mm -hmm. So you can still spritz onto the card stock, even although it's a rose gold and it is that luxury 12 by 12 card, you can still spritz onto that as it is. I changed my mind. Yeah. So let's pop that in there as always. You know by now I always like to put my blank insert in. But let's bring in our card. Let's bring in our die. So we're going to use the heart cluster here. And your card can be any size that you want it to be because it's going to cut within your card. This one is three by five and a half. So I'm going to pop my die on. We're going to then take our low tack tape. We're going to centralise that into the middle, put a bit of tape down just to hold it in. And these, size dependent of your cardstock, these will all go through your Gemini Mini. Nice. So for what I'm doing here, would go through my mini if you're using it. Yeah. I'm going to use my full plate configuration, and that is the two cutting plates, frosted magnetic, and that's then going to cut. All of these, all of these images here, the central part, central part of the butterfly, the star, the flower, the dragonfly, they stay in place. It's the outer edge that releases, and then therefore you've got that cluster of liftability. Love that. And you can lift them all, or what you can do, Ben, is say, lift that outside one, mm -hmm. keep that middle one flat, yeah. and then lift the base one. That's a cool concept. So you've got that option, so you don't have to lift them all, but you can then maybe go far up, and then you can start to tear it if you want to. Mm. So they're all at different levels, or again, you can do it with the center one, lift them all the way up by pinching, and then what's happening is you're then going, if I come in just face on, just so that you can see that then what you've got is that depth, you've got that dimension. They're very good. How smart is that? And that's just our white card stock. Yeah. Nothing um, uh, extravagant. No. You can do it in your pearlescent if you want to. But let's take our dotty tape runner. Now for this, I'm going to go all the way over the back but what I'm going to do, Ben, is when it comes to the clusters here, I'm not going to go, obviously, over the heart.
because what will happen is that's going to stick it down, yeah. which I don't want. I don't want that, otherwise the the um, outer edges are... Well, it defeats the object a bit, doesn't it? ...going to stick and it's going to defeat the object. Mm. So what I am, though, going to do is down the centre, I'm just going to go in just with a little bit of tacky glue. Let's just get that going. Just down the centre, so the body of the heart, that's going to stay in place. Yeah. But it just means then that what will happen is the outer edges are still going to lift. Okay. So we're going to pop that into place, align that one up. And because I'm pressing and I've not put tape underneath, don't worry about pressing the heart down because what you can do is just lift it up. Mm -hmm. So let's hold, press that in. And then we're going to take the same die. Now within the 12 by 12 rose gold cardstock, You've got the shedless glitter. Yeah. So let's take that die. Now, for this part, I don't actually want the cluster of liftable hearts. I want, I want all the little love hearts that are going to fall out because we're going to do a bit of paper piecing. Yes. So you can still do all your water techniques and cut into it. You can still do your paper piecing. You can still lift it up on foam pads and do your shakers into the background. But what you're getting is additional depth without additional weight. OK. So let's take that off and then what i'm going to do is with my tacky glue and i can see there's some still in place which is great i'm going to then essentially paint inside with my tacky glue and then if we then let's overlay and then let's pop that into place let's press that into here oh, have you find your pokey tool or have you taken that from my essential toolkit over here not yours no Aha, uh -huh. he has taken it from somewhere though. Maybe, maybe. Have you told Nug Nugs? Uh, no, I've not told anyone. Oh. Let's pop Don't that tell in anybody, here. anybody. Shh. Craig's no one will know. No one will tool. know that I've used it. No, no one will know. Put Shh. it back the way that it is. Okay. Pop that. I'll take my glue again. Let's just come away here. So yeah, this was the one I was on about yesterday, where um, it's my absolute all-time new favourite pokey tool. Absolutely love it. Just makes it that little bit easier mm. to use. Let's pop that in. Now, I'm not going to do them all because I have got one done. I'm just going to then pop that one, use my pokey tool, popping them back in. And then let's just do, let's do one more overlay, pop that in. Where's that going? It's here. So if you love things such as your paper piece in, you can still do all of that. Come on, you. Let's just get that in. And then you can then come along and then you can finish paper piece in all these bits. Now you can do selective paper piece in. You can do them all if you want to. But let's just lift and pop. And then once we've done all the lifting and all the paper piece in, this is what it's going to look Very like. Very nice. So again, we can then lift some of these up. Let's take the backing off and what I've got another piece of just my go uh, gold, my grey linen card. So if I pop that on, bring in my layer. So I've got this one, hence why the centre's missing. Press that in and then taking that one off. I'm going to keep this flat. Now you can add your foam pads, but because the lift of the die cut gives you that additional lift. I don't feel as though you need foam pads for this one. Mm. You can't do. And I know it's very rare that you'll hear me saying you don't need foam pads, but it's a nice one to give you extra depth because you've got that liftability with all of the die cuts. And then with a simple sentiment from our Gemini mini range, if I pop that into there, and I really enjoy just playing with the showstopper. Yeah. Just taking the showstopper, all of the elements, all the components, Pretty. and having a play with it. And then if I bring in my, what have I done with it? It's disappeared. Pokey tool. Here it is. Just my little sentiment. Ah, love. Little sentiment. So that one is our little alphabet from our Gemini mini range. Amazing. And I'm going to put a bit of tape there. I take that off and then what I'm going to do is let's flatten that one and let's put a little bar across the bottom love pull them up 
So other than the grey cardstock and the little alphabets, that's using your showstopper collection. That could be in one of our stepper dies, that could be in a box lid if you want it to be, but then of course it goes completely flat in an envelope, and then of course you've got your sentiment as well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Colleen says, Ben and Craig, I'm so excited. I'm going to be meeting Sarah in two weeks at HSN here in Florida. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Sarah's with us this afternoon as well, so do make sure you tune in. Uh, Margaret says, I've got both sets of the paints because we've got the watercolour palettes back in stock, don't forget. Uh, they're wonderful and I cannot rate them highly enough. Uh, Christy Mahoney says, good morning. Good morning. She says, good morning, good morning. Uh, and also hi to Lorraine. He says, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, Janice is just asking about tacky glue. Is it the same sort of stuff as PVA glue, she's asking? Essentially, yeah. But what you just need to keep an, keep an eye of is uh, the water content. Right. So the more, it's, it's, it's kind of a tricky one, because there's a way to say the, the, the more inexpensive the glue, the more water that's inside. Although I'm going to contradict myself on that one because our prices of our tacky glue for call out is exceptional, but still there's a lot less water content. So just keep an eye out of the water content. You know, that is then when your card nut's going to buckle. But essentially tacky glue, yes, it is like a PVA glue. Um, let's have a look at everything as far as the uh, showstopper is concerned. Again, if you want to pick that up, um, if you want to get the bonus buy as well, you are going to be uh, having to be fairly quickly because we've now got less than uh, 80 of the bonus buys available. Let me take you through all. If you just want the dies in their own, you can. If you want individuals, you can. But the majority of people are going for the showstopper where you get all of these designs right here. Um, so you're going to be getting your uh, bouquet cluster. So that's the first of the florals that you're going to be receiving. And again, so easy to work. Cut straight into your card. So run these through your mini if you want to as well. They go through all of your machines. And then you're lifting out the details in in this case of the flowers with those petals popping out, really creating that fantastic effect. But as Craig's already described, you know, you can um, multi-cut these, you can mix and match these, you can create bigger backgrounds, you can create longer backgrounds with them. They are just so super versatile, really simple to work with, but the effects again that you can create here are absolutely stunning. And we've it encompassed, I suppose, all of the different things that you love within craft, from your flowers to your butterflies, to your dragonflies you're seeing there. This is the one that Craig has just used, that beautiful heart cluster. And then you've also got the star cluster in there as well. All of the elements of the different designs, you've got that liftability um, of the clusters. If you just want those, you can. The showstopper is what most people are doing. And again, Craig, using lots of the different elements that you've got within the showstopper. So your 60 sheets of card in there. You've also got your 12 by 12 regal rose gold pad with the glitter card and that pearl card. You've also got your uh, glue dots and glue pen in there too. So the two different tape pens, the original ones, if you like, 22 meters, 72 feet on each of those. Then we're gonna give you your low tack tape as well. Perfect for holding your dies in place. The shimmer spray, if you love that, that's included in the showstopper as well, the firelight shimmer. Plus you've got pokey tills, again, perfect for helping you to lift up the elements of the dies, no problem at all. Um, and that is everything within the showstopper. Should be £54 or $70, it is £20 or $30 within the showstopper. So amazing value for money. There's the platinum price. And if you get the showstopper, now you have got the opportunity to get the bonus buy. Less than 80 of these though, you're gonna have to be quick um, to get this bundle. Um, basically what you do is you get the showstopper and then you pop your nine piece pigment ink pad selection into your basket and you'll receive it for half price but there's less than 80 of these now to go around. Plenty of the showstopper which is still the best value for money deal but um, if you want to go even further and get these you're going to have to be quick. Uh, Twilight Grey is in there. You're also going to get the orange. Beautiful green is the spring meadow. Um, then you've got your pink tulip. Two lovely blues in here as well, are uh, uh, two faves. You've got the ocean blue, you've got parakeet, you've got the Bordeaux, you have got the lemon tonic, and then also you have that fantastic plum jam as well. All of that is yours for half price when you pop it into your basket with your showstopper. Um, let us take a short break, give you the opportunity to get your cards and baskets checked out. Lots of lovely comments coming through uh, and a few more questions as well. So we'll answer those and read those when we come back after this break. Get to the checkout, get to the checkout, and we'll be back in about three or four minutes time. Come in, check my emails, 
then lay the shows out in the studio, set pack shots up, then I will get new poles, shows, solve any problems that need solving. Um, we deal with other teams where we receive market and suite, receive boards, pick samples to send to the maker, we pick samples to send to QVC. We will take the previous shows out of the studios, set the new shows up. We do floor manage occasionally, not all the time, making sure that the expert presenters have everything at hand that they need, anything that they haven't got during shows, we will run about and get the products for them. Think on a morning when it's really quiet, I can get more done when there's nobody else Night Owl Morning Coffee on a morning Tea the rest of the day Savoury Normally lunch Craft Mobile phone Christina's chicken raw. Barry White. Your first, my last, my everything. Go home and make the tea. Day to day looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home, um, get up, breakfast, um, quick call with my daughter, and then I'm up in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room. <laughs> Spending a day with the grandkids, it's that's it, that's my best part of the day, just spending time with family those gorgeous little grandkids of mine. The best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air because I absolutely love it. Both. I prefer a shower in the morning. I feel fresher. I feel that I can tackle my day. However, depending on how that day's been, I also would have a double shower, so I'd have one in the morning and one at night too. Absolutely, 100% coffee. Will always be coffee. And flavoured coffee is my favourite at the moment. Dare I say it, a full English breakfast. The Works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage, and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. Craft along. Every day of the week, um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of a project. So craft along is definitely my favourite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> it's like I even think I once didn't have a lipstick on me and Leanne helped me have <laughs> Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, gather my thoughts and then grab my tea. Welcome back. Um, lots of love for this new collection, by the way. Lots of you shopping. Flowers are all very pretty, says Marnie Pinchoff. And Sarah Brown says, great demo, Craig. What's a great demo? And she says, Ben, when do we get to hear a new song? Uh, I've got a few sort of ideas floating around in this big old bonce of mine. So, um, you know, maybe fairly soon. Uh, fairly soon we'll, we'll, do, we'll do something. Um, what I do, you'll find it over on my YouTube channel, at Ben Mosby CC. Oh, Nicola, we must do a Mosby's Makes before I go away on holiday next week. You up for that? Yeah, of course you are. Yes, either tomorrow or Friday. Craig and I are both off on holiday next week. We are together. Before holiday. Get in. We are. We're going abroad together. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to Magaluf together. Magaluf. Magaluf Strip. Hey. Magaluf Strip. Me and Ben. Can you imagine us with our tank tops, Magaluf? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the least likely person I think to go to Magaluf. I'd be like Rabsy Nesbitt. Rabsy Nesbitt. Hi. <laughs> Love it, Billy Connolly. <laughs> <laughs>
you have to. Yeah, now you've got to do the wheel before we do the next demo. The wheel. The wheel. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> Spin the wheel. <laughs> If you know, you know. Hi, everyone, says Karen Hughes. Watching whilst ironing, I love the showstopper. And um, a question about the glue. Cindy says, um, regards to the tacky glue and the little bottle, mm -hmm. you apply the glue with, do you need to add any water to the glue to make it thinner? Never. Never. Never, never, never. never. For our, our cal uh, call out glue, really, any tacky glue that you've got, never add additional water. What that will then do is that's just going to constantly and even uh, more um, kind of buckle your card. Right. It's going to saturate your card. You're putting water onto cardstock. So, no, whatever glue that you get, make sure you keep it the way that you've got it. Okay. Uh, keep the questions coming in. Now, we're going to do another demo um, with the cluster lift dice. However, I believe this is the demo where we're going to bring in boop, 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 the, uh, I say brand new, it feels like they're brand new, the watercolour palettes. These have not been seen together since birthday. Um, so you've got them back. They are incredible. If you've already got these, please can you put in the comments why you love them so much. Um, it, feel free to send in pictures as well. You've got your sunbeam and your moonbeam. These are absolutely stunning, shimmering watercolour palettes. Um, and what you've got with the sunbeam, this is going to work for you the best on your um, white cardstock, okay? Uh, to give you this fantastic shimmering effect, as Craig will demonstrate in just a few moments time, but you've got all of those um, beautiful colors in there across the um, sunbeam. You're then also gonna get your palette of moonbeam. And whilst the moonbeam does work, I think, best on your darker cardstock, you can also apply this to your white cardstock as well, but look, at wow. the kind of effect oh. that you can achieve. We've missed these, I think, and you can understand why these sold out so very quickly at birthday. So you get both of the palettes for the price on the screen and then for free within the bundle, we're gonna give you the um, Crafters Companion um, paint brushes as well. So not the Royal and Langnickel ones, our very own, uh, where you've got your um, round size six brush for the fine detail and two sizes of flat brush as well. So you can use that for your larger areas. Great buy, I would encourage you to jump in and grab this if you've already got the set. Chances are you're probably gonna buy another set because you love them so much. If you haven't yet got them, I have a feeling you'll be buying them after you see them in action because you're gonna use them in this next demo, aren't you? I am indeed. What I'm also gonna use, Ben, just for the edges, is the ocean blue pigment. So that's from that pigment bundle that yep. you've got within the bonus buy. So I'm gonna use that for the edge. So white cardstock, this is our white uh, watercolor cardstock, four yeah. by six. Let's do the edges first. So we're just gonna go around with our blending tool. I'm using the uh, square which is uh, actually a rectangle but you can then of course use your circular one if you want you can use your brush if you want you can even use your finger daubers if you want to mm -hmm. but I am using the square one just to etch all the way around here now I'm not worried or bothered about going into the center I'm just wanting more of the ocean blue to be on that outer edge yep. and although it's the pigment one and it's a nice juicy sticky one for you to use your embossing powders on I'm not doing that I'm just going to keep that kind of au natural oh. around the edges here yeah gives us that nice solid blue edge all the way around as well and uh, quite simply that is all that I'm doing for the edge I'm just spritzing that with water so I can give it a clean let's take that off here and then we're going to go straight into the die and we're going to use the butterfly die so that piece of say was four by six so let's go right into the center there I'm going to take my low tack tape and let's bring that in. But then this is where, because it cuts in, Ben, you've got creative play. Mm. You can go down the side there and maybe do a banner, maybe go to that side and do some ribbon strips if you want to. Go back to that side. If you've got your corner punches, remember if you take out that 90 degree angle base of the corner punch, you can do your straight edge corner or uh, borders yeah. down the side, mm -hmm. or it could be your uh, border dies, anything like that. So you're still going to be able to bring in all your other dies and punches that you've already got. Let's tape that down so that my low tack tape is overhanging ever so slightly. I don't want much because of course, our low tack tape is low tack, until it comes into contact with the pressure of our G2. And then of course it can grab just a little bit more than usual. So I'm gonna go in frosted magnetic 
top plate. Run that one through. This one here, prime example, although it's a slimline die because of the size of the card I'm using, you would need to have at least your junior or your midi or larger for yeah. it to use. And as we we'll always say, these will go through any branded die cutting machine on the market. The only thing you need to check for is the plate configuration. So let's take that out so and good. then look at that. That's incredible. How fab is that? Let's take my uh, pokey tool and any just little bits there that are still it. That was it. a couple down here and then pop the body out. So the body you could paper piece back in if you want to. The antennas you can then paper piece. I like how you've got the delicate, intricate butterflies, but then you've got the solid butterflies that I'm popping up now. Mm -hmm. So you've got the solid wings, and pop that up, and then that up, and then, I mean, look at that depth from up above that you've got. But again, so remember, they will fold completely flat yeah. in the envelope, and then the recipient, I'm sure the recipient would know just to pop them up. Yeah. You could always put a little note in there if you want to. But let's go in with our sunbeam here. So let's open this one up. Ooh, let's yes, take please. that one out, make sure that's in the kind of semi-right order, which it is. These were here and gone so quickly, weren't they? They were. They really, oh, really were. Really sold out. And I'm going to put my hand up and say that I haven't used these oh. anywhere near as much as I should be using mm -hmm. my set that I mean, because they are simply incredible. What I would say is, say you're going to do colour with your water reactive, Say you're going to do colour with your tricolour aqua. Say you're going to do colour with your sparkle pad. You're going to do colouring with any of them. Pause and replace it with the shimmer ink yeah, pads. Yeah, okay. Just stop and think, right, let's use the shimmer ink pads mm. instead. You're still going to get that colour, but you're going to get, of course, that shimmer coming all the way through. It's a good point, that, because you might be so used to using one other thing, like you said, uh, and you might, not, you might have the shimmer ink pads, but because, you know, you're so used to using another ink, it's not kind of natural for you to pick them up. No. But I think once you have no. used them, you'll come back to them time and time again. Absolutely, yeah. You'll get in that mindset as mm. well, and then you'll think, oh my gosh, yeah, I've got the shimmer ink pads. So yeah, it's just about pausing, thinking, what else can I use? Have them at the side, and then, of course, you can come along and use them time and time again. Now, I don't want to get my uh, sunbeam all the way around, so I've got a little bit of scrap here, and I'm just going to pop it underneath. I'll tell you what I will do, just to show it just that little bit better, Let's do a bit of, bit of black, Ben, okay. just to show you. If I move that out the way and just put the black, there you go, that's better. So I've now overlay, I'm going to use the dandelion and we're going to then colour over the top. You don't need to do any blending, any shading, nothing like that. We're just going to go direct over the top. Now, if you're going to use a lovely selection of these, I would absolutely do what Leanne recommends, and that spritz it, spritz it yeah. with the water. However, I'm only using a couple, so therefore, I don't really want to spritz a whole lot. You can, but that's why I'm not spritzing the whole lot. It's only because I'm using a couple. Let's go back in again, and then I'm just going to dip back into my paintbrush. I'm going to bring up that dandelion. I'm just going to flatten that, and then we're just going to colour in the wings and it's water-based still so if you wanted to I've not done this within my original one but if you wanted to we could let's go in with the sunset meadow and you can start to do some blending Ben okay. we can go in I'm going to make that just a little bit darker here let's bring and mix that up so you can still blend you can then start to do depths of shading if you want. Mm. Take that excess off and then just blend that out. So to much. Say, easy to say that I love these paints so much because I do. They add beautiful shimmer to anything they touch and they're really luxurious. They do give that feel of, um, of luxury. And again, like you see in here, nice and easy to use. So if you've got yours, maybe today's the day now. Craig's inspiring you to get them out and have a play. Uh, but again, if you have used them, maybe you've created some projects with them recently you want to show us, do send in some pictures. I know we've got a few coming through uh, right now as well. Uh, and Teresa says, Ben, I've never seen you so red. What is the wheel about? Oh, it, it's just, it's a TV show with a, a UK comedian called Michael McIntyre. And that, that was my impression of him. And the guys always get me to do that impression because that's, that's what he sounds like And at the start. They, this is like celebrities on a wheel and they spin around and then wherever the wheel lands is like a question and the celebrities have to ask the answer the question for the person who's in the middle of the wheel. 
And every time they get to spin the wheel, Michael McIntyre does the spin the wheel, which is what I did. And it's funny because I'm not a big fan of them. Of Michael McIntyre? Yeah. Yeah, same, same. But I, I love your impression. I think I love your impression of Michael McIntyre than I actually like Mac and <laughs> Michael McIntyre's <laughs> own Michael, Michael McIntyre. I used to really, really, really like him, but I think he's one of those, he's, like, he's on TV so much, I think you just, I don't know. Yeah, there's a few like that just now, isn't there? Mm. Every channel you're on, they're there again. Always on. Always. Like you. <laughs> Crafters <laughs> TV, Ben again. God, there he is again. I'm sure I've seen a comment saying, yes, thank God, Ben's on holiday next week. We get a break. Oh, boo. I'm sure that was a Ni Ni Nicholas Scott, Producer I think. Producer Nicola. <laughs> no, you are... Aren't you on holiday next week as well, Nicola? I am indeed, yeah. Oh, you're not yeah. on holiday, Nicola. You, you are. N oh, Nicola, Jamie's on holiday, I'm on holiday, you're on holiday, Nicola's not on holiday. Nicola's not on holiday, no. Yeah. You, are, you know how uh, in the wrestling, AJ Styles is the face that runs a place? That's yeah. you, Ben. The face that runs... The, is that what they call him? Yeah, the face that runs a place, I yeah. did not know that. That's you, yeah. 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 Always here. Always here. I've tried to escape many times, but they keep locking the doors. But do. Yeah. Quite literally do. Me too, but they actually kick me out and then lock the door and say, fine, Craig, go. <laughs> See ya. And then two weeks down the line, they go, oh, oh. I suppose it'd be better laying back in oh. again for another go, you know. Debbie needs a little break. Yeah. Um, questions. Craig, yeah. are you using watercolour cardstock? Asks Evelyn. I am indeed. And Theresa, Craig, can you put these watercolours on a stamp? Can you stamp with them? Uh, uh, <laughs> do you know, it's, it's more about to stamp with them. Yeah. I'm not going to say no, you definitely can't, but to stamp with them, you would really have to get a strong core colour right. painted onto the stamp. We don't happen to have a stamp here. Uh, in the break, I'll go and have a, a hunt for a little stamp. Because what you would have to do is, if we go onto our palette here, you would have to really get a really, really right. strong amount of colour onto your paintbrush to paint onto the stamp to then apply it. So it's water-based, I'm not going to say no, but the impression might not be crisp and it might, might not be clear. So okay. we'll have a little bit of a play so later on. you can have on. a try. You can have a try. It's not a no, you can't. It's but... not a no, you definitely can't. It's just, you might not get a real crisp, clean impression. But we, we will give it a shot. Now I'm just going to finish off this one, moving my cardstock underneath each of these layers here so I don't get the colour where I don't want it. And then, if I then move that out the way for now, mm. and then you can then come along and Ooh, pretty. finish off. If I tilt that, so oh, look at the shimmer coming! Shimmer, yes, there. Awesome, Jamie. And then if I go face on, and then let's just see, we can get that shimmer just about. So we're going to focus more on that yellow one, and then if we. Get that shimmer. It's the one at the top that's shimmering oh, for me. There we go. Oh, there and we go. the green. There we go. We'll put the mint. At, there we go. Yeah. Oh, look at the mint one at the yeah. top here. That is mint. Yeah, it is. It is mint. It is mint. So you've got that shimmer and shine when it comes to your die cuts. So what I've done is I've just matted. I've already got one finished here. And I've already matted it onto a little bit of black cardstock here. So let's take that off my sheet. And then my five by seven card, oh, Ben, wow. I've gone in. You know our uh, yeah, metallic card? Is that still available? Oh, I'm not sure, I actually. Say it isn't. I'm not sure. Let's press that in and press that. That's and just finished that card off brilliantly. Does, doesn't it? Oh, that is so good. You've got the bounce from the shimmer yeah. of your sunbeam palette. And then you've got the dots of the metallic cardstock underneath here. Let's pop that up here. Now I know what I'm away to do next. Some of you are like, oh Craig, well that's going to waste. And this is where you can change what I'm away to do. I've got just from an old stamp set here, it's called Floral Friend Stamp, and it's far apart, but closer in heart. Now what oh. I'm going to do here is I'm going to, you know how I love banner sentiment. I love going across cards. Yeah. Now some of you might think, well Craig, you've just wasted that yellow 
butterfly. You don't have to do what I've done here. You can move it down if you want to. But personally, I'm a big fan of banner sentiments across my card. Mm -hmm. We can see a little bit of the butterfly yellow popping out the base and a little bit popping out the top here. But that's using your Oasis Blue Pigment from your Bonus Buy. And then we've used our Sunbeam Shimmering Watercolour Palette for the butterflies. That's so, it looks like the, it looks like the card's alive. The yeah, way you've yeah used it does. That, yeah. Um, the card layer. is alive. With the, with the sound, sound of, of butterflies. butterflies. La 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 la. That's brilliant, that. That is brilliant. There you go. Um, but the effect that Craig has achieved there, again, is hopefully very easy for you guys to follow and do that at home. And that's the G, look at it, let me look again here. Like Jamie's just coming in the close up. That's such a cool card. It's so cool, it's so pretty, it's so vibrant, it's so spring summertime. That is one of the happiest cars I think I've seen this year. It's oh, so happy, it's put a smile on my face. There you go. I love that. Um, absolutely brilliant. Combining loads of the elements that you're going to be getting within the showstopper, combining those, I keep saying they're new because they feel like they're new, uh, the watercolour um, shimmer pads, absolutely incredible. I'll take you through everything um, in just a second. Few comments. And some questions as well, which we'll do. Uh, Janice says, I'm sure this isn't true, Janice. She says, whenever I do anything like this, it looks like a two-year-old has been let loose with a paintbrush. I'm sure you're doing yourself nah. down, Janice. I'm sure you, um, it looks marvellous. Um, Brenda says, such pretty butterflies. And uh, Mary Jenkins says, I've got these luscious shimmer inks and they are a game changer. So do you know what? If you're on the fence with those, you're thinking, shall I, shan't I? You can listen to us, but um, I would also read the comments of people who already have them. Read those testimonials that are coming through on the socials because th those are the people that have them and are absolutely loving them. Uh, and Carol Garwood Beard, yes, I echo these sentiments. You say, holy buckets, Batman. I love this card. So simple, but wow, talk about a showstopper. I'm calling it, it's the happiest card of the year so far. And do you know something? I am so chuffed that you used the word simple mm. because that was my plan for every single demo. We could have done elaborate demos, we could have done Uriel concept demos, but what I want to do is rein it in. They're mm. simple dies. I want to rein it in with the demos and then like that last one, you could then put it onto a box lid if you wanted to, or you could put it onto one of our stepper dies, or you can make a diorama card. You've got that choice, but let's keep each demo simple for a simple launch and I don't mean that in a negative way it's a lovely simplistic die so therefore you can then take what I do and then run with the concept I'll show you the showstopper again and the, uh, the, um, the ink pads I just want to ask two quick questions yeah come in um, so Lisa says could you use the um, shimmer inks on flower forming foam yeah, you could do. What you're going to have to, it's going to really soak in. Mm. So you're not going to get that striking colour uh, over the top. But yeah, you know, you can do. And Tammy Navarro says, can you use the finger daubers in the shimmer? I don't see why not. Yeah, the shimmer, you're wanting to do more of that bright. You want to paint with them. But there's nothing stopping you from using the finger daubers. If you want to apply them using the finger daubers, they're yours. So give it a shot. Another beautiful card, Craig, says Lynn. And Wendy says, I bought the showstopper uh, and I love the paint palettes. I use mine a lot. And Brenda says, that's what I was thinking, Ben. Reminds me of spring. Uh, and then she goes on to say, we might get snow tomorrow. <sighs> it's been like that year. We had a nice bit of weather over the bank holiday weekend. And then the last few days, my, my, it was, it was raining the uh, proverbial cats and dogs earlier on. Do you know something? No. It was one of those mornings. I woke about an, er an hour before my alarm and it was chucking a rain. It wasn't quite daylight. And you know when you just lay there and you hear the rain just, it was so relaxing. Mm. So relaxing. ASMR. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. The showstopper is this. All of these fantastic new dyes. Um, you're going to get the uh, six designs of your cluster lift. And as you've seen, incredibly simple to use, but the effect that you can create looks anything other than simple, which is um, amazing. Um, using your pokey tools to uh, lift out your, um, well, star points in, in, in this uh, respect. Here, you can lift up all of the different details of the heart there, which I think is incredible. And as Craig showed you in that first demo as well, you're then going to get the um, waste, which you can then paper piece back in if you want, or use as embellishments, or use as shakers elsewhere if you want to do that. So many things to love about these um, 
dies. They are absolutely gorgeous. The dragonflies, again with these, think how great these will be once you've lifted those uh, wings out. But the point again, you know, which Craig has touched on, if you do want to post all of the uh, 3D elements, all of the liftability, you can simply just pop back in place. These will lie flat for you, so they're nice and easy to post. There's those stunning butterflies, which we've just seen on the happiest card of the year so far. Uh, plus, you're going to be getting two sets of florals. If you want to go for these individually, just to give you the names, this one here is called the Floral Cluster, all right? Um, and then the second of the two flowers is called the Bouquet or Bouquet Cluster. So those are the two different ones if you want to pick and choose or go individually. If you're going for the showstopper, again, great value for money on this because you're going to receive everything here that you're seeing. So you're getting 60 sheets of our card. You're going to get your um, beautiful shimmer spray, which is that beautiful firelight. You've also got the um, 12 by 12 regal rose gold pad. So that's got the glitter and then the uh, corresponding cardstock to go with it. Two of our tape pens, which is the glue tape pen and then one of your standard tape pens. The original ones, of course, don't forget. You're getting your low tack tape in here and you're getting two pokey tools. That should normally cost you £54 or $70. You are only paying £20 or $30 within the showstopper, bringing you this price. If you're platinum, this price, and also if you're new, join Club Inspire and pay this price. And if you then get the showstopper, we do still have hmm, a small amount of these, I think less than 60 now, of your bonus buys, where you can get the nine piece pigment ink pad selection um, for half the price on the screen right there. So 25 pounds or $39, less your club inspired discount. All of these colors you're gonna be um, receiving. So there's nine in total. Plum Jam, Bordeaux, oh, hello. Ocean Blue, Lemon Tonic. Did you put the one back in here that you nicked? Oh, I thought you took one. It's for reference. Oh, parakeet. Because I was just counting through them. I'm thinking there's definitely all of them here. When did he come back and put it? He's magic. Pink tulip. Mikado. Spring meadow. Orange. And then your twilight grey. That is available as a, a buy bottom of the screen if you want it individually. Get it with the showstopper. We will halve the price for you, but there's less than 60 of those now remaining, so you will have to be swift. And then the other thing, just to quickly mention, is don't say it's new, Ben, because it's not. Why does that word new keep coming into your head? Because I haven't seen it for ages, that's why. The sort of new, but not new. Uh, watercolour, shimmer, ink palettes. These are incredible. You've got your two here, so your Sunbeam. This is the one that you're going to be using with your um, lighter cardstock, so your white cardstock. This is where you're going to get the very best effect. Look at that shimmer that you can achieve. It is incredible. Um, you're going to get all of those fantastic 24 colours, um, which come in that amazing palette. And then you're also going to get the Sunbeam, Moonbeam, Moonbeam, you can use on either your uh, <laughs> sunbeam, moonbeam, moonbeam, sunbeam. This is definitely the moonbeam, which you can use on your white cardstock, but I think looks absolutely incredible on your dark cardstock. Again, in those 24 different colors from your rose red through to your forest, through to your feathers, seashell, enchantment, harvest, fairy wings, and starlight. When you buy those two watercolor palettes for free, we're gonna give you the brushes as well. You get the three sizes in there. So you've got your round size six, and then your two sizes of flat brush in there as well. Uh, better displayed on the back of the box for you. So that comes for free within the bundle, already 10% off, and then you're gonna get your discount platinum price is just 39.98 or 47.92 thank you for all the lovely comments coming through loads of people buying the showstopper i adore that last card says sandra and we'll be attempting to replicate it with a few different border colors um christine says i cannot believe it's going to snow in new york again today into tomorrow maybe six to eight inches but will disappear fast and terry h says hi all i'm obsessed with the shimmer watercolors they are so fun to work with thank you for all of your comments and more to come in the second hour of the show Welcome, if you've just joined us. It is Wednesday, middle of the week. We are slap bang in the middle of launch day. The brand new cluster lift dies, which are proving very popular. We thought they might, because the um, genius about these is the simplicity of use. 
but then the effect that you can create is absolutely amazing. If you missed the first hour of the show, uh, do make sure you go back and watch it and plenty more inspiration coming your way over the course of the next hour. Keep the comments and questions coming through. Uh, I'll remind you of our spring sale in just a few moments time, but before that, we do have some pictures which we can take a little bit of a look at. Uh, Nancy oh, wow. Carper has been getting very busy. This is the um, embossing folder with yeah, with dye, the, the dye, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. That is abs oh, Look at the depth that you've got. Is that using some of the shimmer palettes? I think it must, certainly on the left, yeah. the one with the butterfly. It looks it. Yeah. That looks absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. The colours as well as that depth that you've got, all three mm. of them. They're amazing, Nancy. Thank you for sending those through. Um, Stephanie's been busy as well with, the, this is from the same collection, same, I isn't think, it? isn't it? But are you thinking what I'm thinking? Enchanted Nancy Ocean. Ocean. Mm. Yeah, that die set, that folder set will look lovely with the Enchanted Ocean. I, I, I nearly started singing when you said, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at this card. Isn't, Isn't it, it neat? neat? <laughs> Wouldn't you say Stephanie's collection's complete? Um, yes, so Stephanie's been um, under the sea there. Under the sea. Under the sea. Where it is wetter. Everything's better. Under Take the it sea. Me. And then Stephanie's loving the kind of wildlife angle because she's then been playing wow. with this from the Kingfisher collection. That is incredible, isn't it? That is absolutely epic. That's the embossing folder, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah, set. from the Kingfisher collection. The Halcyon Days. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well done, yeah. Yeah. He's coming out of the sea. Out of the sea. Where I, it is drier. <laughs> he's flying higher. <laughs> Take it from me. I think you'll find he's probably coming out of a river. A Don't river, yeah. Kingfishers tend to be in the... But look, yeah. but look at look at that as well. I, mean, I, I want to say some of the shimmer palettes. I might be wrong, but look at that copper tone. Mm. Beautiful. The um, water splashing around the Kingfisher coming out as well looks mm -hmm. incredible. Is there some um, glossy highlights or something being used there maybe? I think, think so, possibly, yeah, yeah possibly. Good. And then Terry A, this is just beautiful. Floral creations, look oh, at that. Wow. That's, That's definitely been shimmered, isn't it? Spectacular. Yes, it has to be. It has to have been shimmered. Look at that. Terry, that is beautiful. Oh, is it? And it's a shaker as well. Oh, so it is. I never noticed that. But no. I, do you know what that is, uh, Terry? That's one of those that every time you look at it, you see something else. Yeah. You have floral creations, then the shimmer, and then the shaker. You've got that frame dye, but then you've got your just for you. Oh, beautiful. It's very classy, that. I'm imagining that as some sort of like a, a, a wedding card or like Defo. a... A very, um, you know, like a, a wedding anniversary or something like that. It's, it's given me tropical vibes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's given me tropical mean. vibes. I get that. Mm -hmm. I get that. Uh, this next one from Terry H has given me party vibes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, this is a prime example of showing how our simple creator cards with our Cheers to You collection yeah. can look completely different by mm. tying them together. Yeah. But look at that a teal mint with the lilacs and purples. Absolutely brilliant. You're all very talented. Oh. Very, very talented. Thank you for sending your pictures. Send more. We want to see more. More, more, um, more. How do you like it? How do you like oh, it? We are just on the same level. <laughs> same level. Uh, Rachel Stevens. Oh, that wasn't originally Rachel Stevens, but no, yes, no, no, no. She did sing that. But yeah. what most people will know, yeah. More, yeah. more, more. Always my favourite from S Club. How do you like your love? I used to like Rachel Stevens. Yeah, well. yeah. There Let's ain't go. no party like an S Club party. S Club. I uh, love Reach my Shimmer watercolours, says Jonah. Um, they are amazing. The Shimmer, says Cindy Thompson, uh, looks amazing on the ocean dyes, yeah. And Carol Denyer says, Hi, Ben and Craig. Oh, no. This is Carol asking. She's got um, a request. Mm hmm. Ben, says Carol, can you get Craig to say hello to my friends, Carol and Carl? <laughs> you have no idea what they're saying in my ear. Carol's asked, not me. So, well, it's quite simple, eh, Carol? Right, okie doke. Um, just, they just want me to say hi. Can you say hello to Carol and Carl? Right to you. Right, so this is just saying a very hello to Carol and Carol. I hope you are well on this Wednesday afternoon here in the UK. Sending lots of love from me. It's two different names I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
And I'll say hello to Carol and Carl. That's what I said. <laughs> Carol and Carol. <sighs> Thank you, Carol. Let's say, uh, <laughs> good on you, Carol. Yes, you, you have won Wednesday. Congratulations, you win Wednesday. Right. <laughs> Colleen says, Ben and Craig, I love your banter. It makes me smile and laugh. Thank you. Um, right, any more requests? Uh, anyone, any more hellos? Particularly if you've got friends called Carol and Carl, feel free <laughs> to send them in and we will say hello. All right, we better get back onto it because we're going to get in trouble for mucking about because it is a launch day of the brand new cluster lift uh, dies. Shall we? Uh, <laughs> that's really tickled me. Shall we see another demo with Craig? Yes. yes. Let's do it, let's do it. Now, this isn't necessarily a complete demo. This is what I've taken inspiration from uh, Caroline here. She's made this box. I'm going to do something along the lines, but instead of pattern paper, I'm going to use a couple of the inks. I just, I love the blue tones. Mm. That is then doing an inky background and then just die cutting into it. Gives me that old fashioned kind of China feel. Yeah, you yeah. Know, the China, the like blue. Was it Spode? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. One of the two. I'm not sure. My nan and granddad used to have it. Yeah, same thing. It just reminds me of that. So we'll do something along the lines. So what I've done is our white cardstock that's in that showstopper, and I've cut it to nine by seven inches. So that's nine by seven inches. And then on the box lid, I've scored at one and a half inches all the way round. Now, I've done exactly the same for the base, but I scored it on the base side. We're on a box yesterday and I stepped you through that within launch party. So that is the base there. Let's take a little strip that we're going to cut into five and a quarter by two and a half. We're going to go in with the ocean blue, which is from the uh, bonus buy. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to go in with our glass mat. So although it's a pigment ink pad, you can still spritz with water and do your background. So we're just using our spritz tool and then we're just going to start to lay that in. It's watercolour card that I'm using and we're just going to keep dipping in. Now, Caroline had used patterned paper and for this one, again, as I'm using my inks here, so we're just going to then lay that one in. We're going to get a nice kind of marbled effect. We're going to do a little bit with the parakeet as well, but I don't want the parakeet and the ocean blue to kind of blend into each other. Okay. So we're going to dry that off. Now, keep using this with your cardstock until it's all gone. We don't obviously have that luxury of time, so therefore, just using my uh, cloth just to uh, clean it up. And then we're going to uh, heat set this. We're going to dry this off, just so it's at least uh, semi-dry anyway. It doesn't need to be completely dry, but just enough so that when we come along with the parakeet, the parakeet isn't then going to muddle and blend into the ocean blue. It's going to sit on the top, and then we're just going to keep that going until it's kind of flattened itself out, which will then be more than enough to crack on with the next section. So we've got our base now. Let's go in with the parakeet, which is also from the bundle of the bonus buy. And we're just going to dab that one on. Spritz, and we're just going to do the same, Ben. And just whilst you're doing that, I've just missed a question. Sorry, apologies, Cindy. Um, going back to the shimmer palettes, mm -hmm. obviously you used watercolour card, didn't you? Yes. Cindy wants to know, can you use it with any type of cardstock? Yes. But you're going to get the best result from watercolour. Do you know something? I'm not necessarily going to say the best result. Mm. You know, uh, the sunbeam works well on white card stock. So I'm going to say irrelevant whether, of course, it's white card or whether it's watercolour card, you're still going to get that incredible burst of sunbeam. What I would say, though, is if you were to go and really saturate it, you want to use your watercolour card okay. stock. If you are doing what I do, let me just bring it in. If you were doing that, that would be absolutely fine on your watercolour card stock. But I just used... Um, Sorry, it would be absolutely Normal. fine on your white card stock, yeah. but it's just, it's kind of habit. Anything water-based, I'll do onto your watercolour card. Mm -hmm. But as I say, if if you're really saturating your card stock, I would use the watercolour card like I'm doing here. But the palettes, the sunbeam, moonbeam palettes, when you think about it, Ben, the uh, moonbeam works best with dark card. Yeah. Well, dark card is oh, yeah. the same consistency as your white card. That's such a good point. So, yeah, don't... I never thought of it like that. Yeah, yeah that's Don't so worry true. too much about it. Yeah. It's just about how you're applying the water-based medium. Yeah. 
So let's clean that up and then we're going to give that a dry as well. And then we're going to bring a little bit of the sunbeam, the clear sunbeam, just to give it a little bit of an additional sparkle. Uh, Karen Fish is just messaged to say hello from Florida. Uh, I'm making a card with the Enchanted Ocean collection whilst I'm watching. I just wanted to take a break to say hi. I've also sent them the pick using the Shimmer Watercolour Palettes. Well, thank you, Karen. We will um, add that to our gallery. No doubt we'll do one a little bit later on in the show. But feel free to keep sending those in. Um, we'd love to see what you've been making. If you've done anything with the Shimmer Palettes as well, uh, send those forward so we can inspire everybody. So here we go with the Shimmers again. Is that the Sunbeam? It is indeed, yeah. Just sticking with the, uh, the Sunbeam again. To reiterate what you said there, Ben, the Sunbeam... It looks best on light card. The mm. moonbeam works and looks best on dark card, but you can absolutely mix and match. Mm. No problem whatsoever. Let's go in with our largest brush here. I was going to go in with the, the jasmine, the clear one, but I'm not. Let's go in with, let's go in with the rainfall. Let's keep it blue on blue. Now, you might not necessarily see this blue color clearly on the blue, but what you will see is the sunbeam shimmer you'll see the shim shimmer start to burst through. So let's ink our brush up here. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to kind of dab. We're just going to dab that on into place. And at this point, this is what I mean by you're not necessarily going to see the rainfall color, but as I dry that off with our heat gun, what you'll then start to see is a bit of the uh, sunbeam, the shimmer bursting through yeah so let's dry that off like so and then we can cut into it excellent stuff um, don't forget as well over on the website uh spring sale is on i mean it may not be very springy outside but it's springy on the website i mean not bouncy springy but springy as in uh loads of spring goodies there for you i think around about four five maybe six hundred items currently with more so really oh, oh yeah oh yeah i've not lurked oh. 70% off, well, up to 70% off, so um, do have a little bit of a look. And then if you missed me saying as well at the start of the uh, show earlier, got some exciting days to come. Um, this afternoon, Sarah's in for March Reload. It's slightly earlier start time for that at 4, uh, which is 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. Tomorrow, we have got a big cartload show, and because of you guys yesterday saying, oh, it would be funny if you did another fun cartload show, you asked, we delivered. We're doing something a bit fun tomorrow um, where it's interactive again and you can win prizes. And then Friday, oh, <laughs> Friday. We're fed up with you now, Ben. <laughs> yeah, Friday. Oh, he's not putting it back in the box. Oh, We're doing some stuff on Friday. <laughs> Look at that. So see what I mean, Ben? That you don't see the rainfall blue, but what you do see is that shimmer. If I go face on as well, that you'll be able to see. Yeah. That we've got there in that beam. Look at that. Yeah. So good. And once again, it's just white watercolour cardstock. But by layering up, You've then got that shimmer. Shibu. Love it. Love it. So let's take our let's take our bouquet cluster and we're going to die cut into that and then we'll assemble our box lid. Let's take that off. I've got my tape still here. I'm going to pop that in. I'm going to bring in my tape my plate first because I've cut this to the exact size. Let's line that one up. And the reason I cut it to the right size is because I wanted that darker edge. If I had my cardstock bigger, Ben, inked it up, then trimmed it, I would lose that dark outer edge. Yeah. So I'm just going to layer on now. I'm just going to tape die onto plate. And then I'm going to use the full plate configuration. And this one, doing it this way as well, it would also fit within the mini if you want to use the mini. I just love the fact that, you know, you've got, they're called the cluster because you've got the cluster of designs, this one being the floral there, and then you've just got them at different angles, but then you're able to use little bits that pop out. Yeah. So if I take that off, let's peel that off here. 
and then I think everything is out. Even the leaves, they stay in place. You can got the petals, they pop them out, even the inner section of the petals, they pop out as well. So we can just lift them up. I'm not going to pop them all up just yet because I'm going to turn it over and I'm not actually going to use my dots. I'm going to use my tacky glue. And I've taken a little bit of blue card, I think it was from the Daisy collection, and I've cut it just a little bit smaller because I don't want to see the blue as a matte and layer. I just want to see the blue through all the little detail. So I'm going to use my tacky glue, making sure that I don't go onto the petals, otherwise that's going to stop it from lifting. But I am going to go into the centre of the florals so that the centre stays in place. It's not going to then create any additional lift where I don't want it, but the petals and the leaves themselves will stay in position. So we're just going to lace that straight over the top, mm -hmm. press that one in. And with that one being five and a quarter by two and a half, I've given myself a white matte and layer, so a very, very thin white matte and layer. What I am going to do, and this is a really good example, when it comes to embossing folders, or dies, the pressure of your Gemini can stretch your card. So that was perfect matte and layer all the way around. But if I bring that, so the white matte and layer, yes, it's fine, but you've got white matte and layer there, there, and there. Can you see now, I've actually, you can't see the white matte and layer at that side. Yeah. That's because the card stretched. Okay. It was perfect matte and layer before I inked it. Think about your background where we've inked it, so we've saturated the cardstock, we've ah, dried it, then okay. we've stretched it with mm. our um, die cutting machine. So just keep that in mind. If you are doing anything water base and then die cutting, what to do before you go to commit to the stick, just re-sit over the top and you might need to trim. Mm -hmm. So if you ever find you're having issues with your mats and layers not lining up, after you've checked them, that could be one of the main issues, is the fact that it's stretched. So keep that one in mind. Not a lot of people think or realise that. I've not heard that before, actually. Yeah. Uh, the main one is embossing folders. Yeah. Because you've got all the nooks and crannies from your um, embossing yeah. folder. It has, to go, it has to be pulled in yeah. from somewhere, so it pulls in from the cardstock. So if you mat and layer, and you've got your mat and layer in the right position, you emboss, or die cut, then you go to then position it together and you realise it's not actually giving you the perfect matte and layer. That is because it's stretched. So you just need to trim it slightly to adapt it to the size. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to work our way around. I'm just using the pokey tool. We're just going to then pop all of these little bits up. So we're just going to lift. And you can be selective in what you lift up. Now this here, I'm not going to lift the centre bits up, you can do. You can then alternate if you want. So you can do every second petal, like this one here. Let's do every second one. We're just lifting with the pokey tool. And also because we've wet it, we've inked it, we've dried it, it's also going to become really, really sturdy. Yeah. So it's not as if they're going to start to fall down on themselves. Okay. Unless you, you know, flatten them but they're going to stay quite proud. So let's lift some of the leaves here. There we go, that'll be fine. I've done exactly the same on the back. The only difference, I didn't use any of the rainfall sunbeam. Five and a half by three and a half. Let's take our tape runner. Let's get our tape runner going. And I've given myself a little white and black matte and layer once again. So that we're going to sit over here, press that in. Let's bring in what would be our box lid. So I've already got my tape onto the back here. So before I assemble the box, I'm going to take the backing off. This is just my preference. I like to take the backing off first. There's that tip again that you did yesterday, which I'd never seen before. Yeah, yep. So put the tape on yeah. before I cut the notches. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring that in. So let's bring in my tape. Once again, I could just use my tape runner because it's at the side there. But it's what I mean yesterday, I was talking about is habit. My go-to is double-sided tape. Yeah. So if I've got it in uh, earshot, I'll use it. So 
So let's layer that on into here. Press that in. That I am going to add. Let's bring some foam pads. I'm going to lift this up. Now I'm just going to use the foam pad strips that you get within the small foam pad bundle. Yeah. Which was in one of the deals yesterday. Mm, was yeah, it yesterday? Well, I lose track of the days. It was in one of the deals. I think, um, oh, it was within the Craft Along bundle, the seasonal creator cards. Ah, yes. It was in that. Was that yesterday? Yes. Oh. It, it was indeed. I do try and pay attention, but as you get old like me, it gets harder and harder uh, to remember all of these things. Especially when you're in here every day. Day after day. Day in. Week after week. Day out. Day in, day out. Dear. Yes, dear. Euphigenia you doubt fire, dear. What a beautiful background, says Alison Jarrett. That shimmer just lifts it up a level. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Really, really does. Let's pop that on into there. So you can then come along, and if I show you what Caroline had done, so she'd used part and paper and done some ink, but with a ribbon and a bow, you're going to be able to have fun. So that's using the new Ooh. launch, it's using the white card. Tilt it using, again. It's using the sunbeam. Ooh, yes. And it's also using the parakeet and the oasis from the pigment ink pad of the uh, bonus buy. Oh, yes. Um, beautiful, loads of love coming through. Have you got your showstopper yet? If you haven't, what are you doing? Uh, jump in, grab it. If you can't stretch to the showstopper, you've got the options, of course, of all of the individuals. Uh, the collection on its own, if you just want that, is also available for you. Plus, don't miss out on the uh, the watercolour palette. You've seen Craig bringing these into his demos. They're just incredible. Um, and just to show you again, I want to make sure that you get these. I mean, I want you to get the showstopper as well, but if you haven't got yet got the watercolour, uh, shimmer watercolour palette then please for goodness sake don't pass up this opportunity because I kind of feel that I mean I don't know how much we've got stock wise but I feel like this is going to be another one of those items which is going to come in everyone's going to shop for it and it's going to go again so if you if you love the look of it just grab it right now um, and don't miss out this one is your moonbeam um, shimmering watercolours so again going to work the best for you on your darker cardstock you can put this onto your uh, lighter cardstock should you wish but all these beautiful uh, reds you've got fuchsia red rose you've got coppers love that gingerbread that you've got there it's stunning you've got honey and orange Autumn, Orchard, Enchantment, some lovely colours here actually that would work really nicely with that Enchanted Ocean collection like your Daydream, Cosmic, Nebula, again working with that Cosmic collection and then you've also got within the set your um, watercolours of the Sunbeam and again lots of beautiful colours to be playing with. These work best for you on your lighter cardstock, watercolour cardstock, buy the two you get the brushes for free within the bundle. £39.98 or £47.92 is your platinum price there. And as I say, jump in and grab the showstopper as well. Uh, Beth Ballone says, so pretty. Uh, and lots of love also coming in for um, Craig's demo so far. More to come. Any more questions you want to fire at us, feel free to. Any more comments and also keep those pictures coming. I know we've got a few more uh, just being sent in, so we'll look at those in just a little bit. We've only got just over half an hour left, so uh, we'll see the other side of this short break. Get your baskets checked out and we'll see you in a moment. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today.
My dad was a printer, which was the old letter set printer, the, the, the type, the old printer's type. So he used to bring home offcuts of card. And so I always had paper and card around me from as long as I can remember. He would donate bits of offcuts to the school I went to, and so it was always accessible. Um, my mum and dad bought me colouring products, art products, and you know, good quality art products, quality art products. So I found I could draw from a really early age. So really between that and crafting, it's just been punctuating it all through my life. I think you can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, it's hard, there's never one source. It's from anywhere, it's from, it could be a crafting person, it could be a non-crafting person. It inspires me in different aspects, you know, it could be um, art, art, inspiration from artists, inspiration from crafters, or inspiration on just inspiring people. It's all about the viewers. It, if it wasn't for the viewers, then there is no purpose in what? Oh yeah, what am I doing it for? It's not about me, what I can do, it's about what I can inspire the viewers to do. And if I'm not inspiring them, then I'm not doing my job. So it's all about the viewers and, it's all, and keeping them um, interested, um, uh, fired up to give things new to try. And mostly any blocks, anything that holds someone back is more confidence than ability, I found. So if I can inspire people and give them that little bit of confidence to give them the nudge, fantastic. I think the biggest achievement is keep doing what I'm doing for so long. Now, I remember, you know, when I first started, um, you know, when everything's new, um, it, can, it can just, you know, maybe the, um, the enthusiasm and the love for what you do might, might wane, but it hasn't. You know, here I am, as I said, 18 years further down the line, professionally crafting, and I think that's my greatest achievement, is that I'm still loving it, doing it, enjoying it, and the feedback's been incredible from you know, from the crafters, and that's what I'm doing it for. So that, I think, is my greatest achievement, and back I'm still getting. Not many people know this, but I'm gonna share this now, is when I lived in America when I was 19, my eyelashes turned white. So this is my hair color. Oh, I'm getting on a bit now, but it's just a really natural hair color, dark hair color, white eyelashes. I look like, um, you know, the John Wyndham, um, you know, the, the midwife. I look like one of those little alien people with me if I don't wear mascara. Underneath this, lily white eyelashes, go figure. I did worry for a while I was going to turn white front emanate now from my eyes, which would have looked very strange to try and disguise for a bit. That's it, Sheena, Sheena. We had a great day with her on uh, Monday, so if you missed, you can go back and watch. She is back with us, I think, is it April the 18th, I've got in my mind. She's got a couple of weeks off, hasn't she? But she's back with the whole gang very soon. Yes, she's in on the Monday, and then I am the Tuesday, the Wednesday, the Thursday, and the Friday. The week you... So th the week after the... Yeah. Hang on. So I'm on, ho I'm on holiday next week, Yeah. and then I am hobby maker the week after, and then that week after, I think. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Uh, good morning, Jen Shank says, good morning, everyone, from a very soggy Maryland. Um, and Terry H says, loving the shimmery goodness, such shimmery goodness, love it, Craig. Talking of shimmery goodness, have we got some shivery pictures coming through? I think we have, oh, Karen, I think, is this is with the... Um, Jeez, you peeps, Ben, you give me such a fright there. Sorry. sorry, oh, I get excited. It's the Enchanted Oceans collection. It looks like it is. No, that's, that's the stamps that came with the shimmer palettes. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Those, um, that, sh that shell, that little, what do you call it, conch, looks like the... Well, it's not. Oh. All right. Karen, we, we really love your card. We uh, do. That said, of Karen. What it's, what it's from. Irrelevant of what you've used yeah. from our collection. That looks absolutely beautiful. I love the white look. Next up, oh, I think this is from the Enchanted Oceans collection. It is as well. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This yep. is so cool, little pop-up box. Wild at heart, how mm. brill is that, Lynn? I have not seen a good pop-up box for a while. That's this a compliment, Lynn. No, I feel like I've not seen, I'm not, as, in not, as in not a good one, but I mean, I've, not, I've just not seen a pop-up box in, in ages. And this is a great example of a great 
pop up box. I've got a spade behind here. Do you want it? No, I don't want it because you're just making a fuss where there was no fuss. It you're is. Being I love annoying. how strong the pinks are with the, the deep tone, the mix of like the chocolate and the black. That works well. But I agree with you. It's not often that you see uh, a really good pop up box. You're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. <laughs> Righty oh, we're in the midst, of course, of a brand new lodge now. If you didn't know, although these cut, you can also foil with them. So Ben is a way to show us a demonstration with the dragonflies or the brand new launch of the cluster dies when it comes to the foil press. Ben, over to you. Oh, no, I wasn't going to do that demo. I was just going to do like a standard, oh, no, you better come and do this one. So I wasn't going to use the, the foil press, actually. Okay. Jane Creedy says, hi, everyone. I've been watching and lurking in the background. Great show. I've sent in a pic. Thank you, Jane. It just rapidly went down hill there, didn't it? But um, we're back in our normal, <laughs> in our normal uh, spots. Uh, and yes, Craig is here to have a bit of fun with the foil press. Absolutely, yes. So of course, the idea, the concept, the clusters is they are going to then cut within the centre and you're going to lift the elements up. But still, they're a beautiful design. You don't have to cut with them mm. to lift. What about foiling with them? And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take the dragonfly here. So dragonfly cluster. I've got my foil press all good to go. And although it's a sizable piece of metal, all that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to six seconds. OK. That is it. Now, honestly with you, this is not my foil press machine. You know I always use my own one. This is not our foil, uh, my foil press machine. It's a studio one, so I'm not overly familiar with it. Really is that, uh, as I say quite a lot, get to know your own machine. But my one at home had done six seconds, so let's go with it and let's try the six seconds. It may need a little bit less, but I've got some extras that we can use. So we're on green foil press, good to go. So we're going to make sure, as always when we're using our normal wafer thin die, we're going to make sure that it's facing upward. I have to reiterate again, we're using the foil press, so the cluster dies won't cut, mm -hmm. but it's going to foil the full of the butter, uh, full dragonflies. So we're just going to set that on. Really, really small detail here. Six seconds, we're going to press start. I like to put my uh, shim over the top. You don't have to. We're going to beep, and that's I'm it. Ready. I'm going to go in with one of our gold sparkly. Now, this one, you make sure that it is foil side facing down. Yes. I'm going to go in with my cardstock and I'm going to set that over the top. We're going to go carbon plate and then we're just going to slide that out. Now, if you're using the Junior, it's going to go straight in the Junior. If you're using our OG Gemini, you will need the expansion plate for the oh, foil yes. press. But if you're using the G2, you don't need anything other than the carbon plate that you get included. So let's then take that lift that up and remember I'm saying this is not my one this is the studio one so if we peel that off if you get any of those residual little bits we're going to take our eraser mm -hmm. we're going to then just work our way around and you'll find that some of these aren't what we class as overfoil. it's just sometimes the foil is sitting on top of your cardstock okay now i'm just going to rub away these little excess bits what i'm doing though is i'm going to do this again ben but i'm going to do it four seconds because now that i've rubbed away the bottom we've still got some foil there which to me is over foiling mm. where we don't want it. This is why it's key, get to know your machine. So my machine at home, I do six seconds. With our studio machine, six seconds is a couple of seconds too much. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with my other bit that I've got here and I've got another bit of cardstock. So let's just take that off and then we're just going to then bring that down to four seconds. And I know you might be thinking that maybe familiar with the foil press. It's a big bit of metal, Craig. Why so low? It's only the tip that we need to heat up. That is it. We uh, don't actually yeah. need to heat, heat the, the whole metal. It. Mm -hmm. It's only the tip. So we're going to go back into my other bit of foil that we've got. The other thing to try and be aware of 
is cut your foil to only the size that you need. If you've got any excess foil or any overhang, that's where you can get things such as you're overfoiling. Okay. So I'm just going to trim. And so the time that you've got in the matrix within the actual uh, instruction booklet itself is just a guideline. Then, it is a guide. Really, as opposed to like hard and fast, yeah? Exactly, yeah. Right. It is just a guide. So we're going to pop that in. As I always say, with that matrix, Ben, follow the matrix and then work your way around that. So follow the matrix. If you get a little bit of overfoiling, mm. then do it again, but just reduce it. Does temperature of the room and things like that come into play or not really? Yes. It, it will yes. do. Yeah. If you start foiling straight off from a freezing cold room, mm. that's going to affect it. Right. Not dramatically, no. but still enough to affect it. If you are in a boiling hot room where your machine is already warm or lukewarm, mm. then you're not going to need as long either. So, uh, yeah, just take things like that into account. If you are starting with the foil press, if you've got it and not got it out the box, what I would always, always recommend, Ben, that is start with cardstock. Start with card, get familiar with your cardstock, then maybe move on to Centura Apparel, then maybe move on to acetate, mm. then maybe move on to a different material. So start simple, and then we're just going to take these little bits. We're just going to use our pokey tool. And because you've still got pressure there, what can happen is the layer of foil can then, essentially the layer of foil can cut, but it just sits on top of your cardstock. So we're just using our pokey tool. We're just going to scrape those little circular bits off. And we've now got our cluster die, which is now a foiled background die that you Fantastic. can see here. So I would, of course, trim it to the right size. I've got one all ready done, so we'll show you that in a moment. Mm -hmm. But we're going to use the same die. Now, I've got some green pearl cardstock. This is from Sarah's older collection. No, it wasn't Sarah. Yeah, it was Sarah. Secret Garden. Oh, the Secret right. Garden yeah. collection. Or maybe it was Nature Garden. It's one of them anyway. Secret Garden collection. Secret Garden, yeah. And it's the green pearl card. So now I'm going to cut it. I'm cutting into that but I don't want the cluster left. I want the bits that come out. I want the body. So what I mean by that is let's take that out. Let's lift that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's have a look where we've got the body. There's one of the bodies. There's another one here. We're just going to pop out these and that one. So you can not just cut, hmm. but Ben, what you can do is you can then foil and then paper piece. Yeah, yeah. So if we take our tacky glue and we're just going to add our tacky glue in and then we're going to paper piece that back into place, but we're going to have a light gold foiled outline. We're going to do the same with that one, that one, and then that one. So let's pop that in and hold. Let's bring that one in and hold. And the one that I'm away to show you in a moment, what I've also done is the little cut out dragonfly. So if I press that in, let's just take that. So we've got tiny little dragonflies yeah. that pop out. So I've gone in. With our tacky glue, you could use your stay sticky pen that you got with your gilding, wa uh, gilding flakes. But we're going to pop that in. And this is why I wanted to show you how. Please don't think as though all you can do is cut and lift. You can foil as well as paper piece. So you just need to trim that. And once you've trimmed it, Ben, we've got... Oh, that's really cool. ...our foil. So if I bring mm. that in... So we've got the foil outline yeah. of the dragonflies with paper pieced. Now that would look gorgeous, not paper pieced. Just oh, yeah. completely mm -hmm. foiled onto the back there. And then we're going to assemble that. So I'm just going to use my tape runner here. So I've got a little bit of black. Yeah. And then remember our new embossing folders. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. 
that kind of like the clamshell one. The geometric, wasn't the it? Ge um, yes, it was. Uh, Old geometric. Se uh, seamless scallop. The, this one's called. No, I didn't call you a seamless scallop. <laughs> but the one that I used yeah. is the seamless scallop. Very good. And I'm lucky I've got them, Ben, but do you know something? I've not done any shows on them. So I had to use them at home. I just had to get playing with them, mm -hmm. had to use them. Hence why I used them yesterday as well. So let's pop that on, bit of black, another bit from the secret garden there. So again, beautiful foil panelling that we've got. And then let's add our layer, the peach tone, once again, secret garden. And we've got a five by seven card. We're just going to pop that into place. Let's take my insert, take that off. So if you want to do inky backgrounds, if you want to do boxes, if you want to foil with them, if you want to paper piece with them, you can still do all of those different concepts, even although the little panel dies. Bring that in. Because there's no lift there, I'm going to add foam pads to the back. You love those thin ones, don't I, you? I, I do. I absolutely love the thin strips. We're just going to add them down mm -hmm. all the way in. Let's just chop off that little excess overhang. And then from one of our older creator cards, uh, it was, uh, what was called the botan botanical frame. I've taken the sentiment that came with them. Yeah. And I've matte and layered that just with friends. You could do a stamp sentiment, any sentiment you like, but keeping it simple, as I said at the start of the show, we're going to pop that into there. And doing what I love, we're going to go crosswise. Let's move that along just a little bit. And then there we go. When your cluster lift dies are not lift dies, they're foil dies. There is a lot of love for the fact that you've um, brought in the foil press. Not something you see so often, is it? When we, especially when we do, um, you know, new launches with dies. And Laurie says, uh, "Good morning, Ben and Craig. Way cool with the foiling. Way cool. Uh, we need to do a foiling class again soon, Craig. Haven't played with it enough lately." I agree. Laurie. I agree. I concur. We'll, we'll put it forward to the powers that be. Uh, Kendall says, hello, everyone from Minnesota. And Sarah Botham says, hello, lovelies. Hello, Sarah. Hello. She says, uh, thank you for making my afternoon brighter with your banter and beautiful demos. Uh, and thank you to Jane as well, who says she's been watching and lurking in the background. What Can a I great uh, ask show. Ben, mm -hmm. see all these lovely comments? Mm -hmm. Do you still like save them, you know, just in case HR emails us or the boss each emails us just yeah. to say? Yeah, always, yeah. always save these. Always, the, always uh, save them. Yeah, just in case HR Phew. and the bosses are watching <laughs> folder. They all keep them <laughs> coming in, you know. Ben and Craig, you are great. You are fantastic. We love it when you mess about. <laughs> Talking messing about, make sure you join us for Cartload. Tomorrow, it's going to be a fun show interactive mm -hmm. stuff to be won and a whole lot of fun it's a real wacky show where anything will go cart load it's a load of fun prizes to be won okay so um tomorrow i'll give you a bit of a clue as to the kind of thing we might be doing <laughs> i think the uk might get that <laughs> us <laughs> Liam, do you need a drink? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that out there? Liam. Liam yeah. <laughs> I don't need a drink, but I might phone a friend. Oh. Will we have an audience to ask? <laughs> oh, that's a 50 50 choice, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, Linda says, um, I have my foil press and I've never used it. Well, Linda, hopefully that might give you the spur that you need to get it out and have a play. Um, what do you want me to do? We're going to... Oh, shall we have a look at the showstopper? Okay. Um, and the bonus pie. Let me show you. Let me show you. Pat says, it's been a great show, Ben and Craig. Lots of laughs and inspiration. 
Um, a very slow morning, so I was doing more watching than chatting. Well, thank you, Pat. It's good to have you all here with us. Um, it's going to be fast and furious tomorrow, as I said. On our, we've got a cartload preview at one, and then we've got the cartload show uh, live at five. And you'll want to join in. If you enjoyed the bingo show, you'll enjoy tomorrow. We've just sort of thrown, we've thrown it together last minute, but it'll be fine. It'll be good. Um, right, so the cluster lift dies. If you want to grab these, all available individually for you. And of course, you can just get the collection on its own. Most people are going down the showstopper route, which I think is the best way to go if budget allows, because you make the most saving and you get loads of, well, stuff at a, a fraction of the price. Um, platinum price is £56 or $86.40. And isn't it great now as well? Over the course of this show, loads of fantastic demos. You've seen these being used in the kind of way that they were designed to be used. Uh, you've seen these being used with other items on the show which are back in stock like the um, shimmering watercolour palette and then that last demo, seeing how you can incorporate and use these with things like your foil press where you're not actually using that lift effect from them. You're just using the uh, detail of the die to create a really cool um, detail sort of foil um, look to them. Now you're getting the stars as I've just shown you you're also going to be getting the dragonflies in here as well and the lo lovely thing about these again is the fact that we have got dragonflies we've got butterflies and flowers mix and match these up create bigger backgrounds create kind of you know longer uh, cards if you want um, and, and use all of the different dies together also the fact that you've got all the liftability no matter what the actual pattern is and you've got the ability to do some paper piecing turn these into shakers if you want great for your box lids as well um, this one is the bouquet cluster uh, if you like that one you can pick and choose and you might want to go with it alongside uh, the other floral one that we've got which in the set which is called the floral cluster and then you've also got your um, butterflies in there too, which is just called the butterfly cluster. But you can see how you know these will work so nicely together. You know, if you were sort of lay layering these up on a bigger project, you know, maybe creating some sort of like uh, triptych effect, they just sit and work alongside each other really, really beautifully indeed. And as you see, the simplicity of how you can use these is brilliant, but the effect that you create is anything but simple. Now. If you're going for the showstopper, uh, plenty of other goodies in the showstopper for you. So for an extra £20 or $30, you are going to get your low-tack tape. So you get three reels of the low-tack tape. You get in the tape pens, one standard tape pen, one dotty tape pen, and those are the original sizes for you. So the 22 meters, 72 feet of stick. You're also going to get two lots of card slots. So you've got your uh, 60 sheets of card. Uh, alongside that, you're getting your 12 by 12 Regal Rose Gold as well, which brings you the glitter cardstock in the rose gold with the uh, complementing cardstock to go with it, two pokey tools and your Firelight Shimmer Spray. All of that has been handpicked, selected, curated, whatever word you want to use um, to help you get the very best out of that collection. £54 or $70 is what you should be paying for it all. £20 or $30, though, is all you pay for that within the showstopper. £56, £86.40. And then, if you get the showstopper, you can get the bonus buy. Uh, but we have got less than 50 of these now, I think, to go round, so you're going to have to be fairly swift. The bonus buy is your pigment ink pad nine-piece collection. You can get these on their own for £50 or $78. However, if you pop them into your basket with your showstopper, you can halve that price. The colours you are going to receive here in your opaque pigments, which of course are brilliant for your uh, blending, brilliant for your heat embossing, are your Twilight Grey. You're also going to get Orange. In the green, we've got the Spring Meadow. You've got a beautiful pink tulip. Everyone's favourite, the Parakeet. Talking of favourites, actually. Lemon tonic, ocean blue, border, and the plum jam. Uh, not many of those left to go around. And if people are buying those um, individually of the showstopper, of course, that's going to affect the amount of people who can get those as the bonus buy at half the price on your screen when you pop them in your basket with your showstopper. Um, I really need to learn how to use my foil press, says Carol. I've had it for years and just haven't learned. Well, if there's that many people that want another foil press uh, show, holler loudly and then we will be able to create that for you, I am sure. Uh, Pat says, it's been a great show this morning. Lots of laughs and inspiration. And Gaz says, fun house. It's a quiz. It's a race. It's a real wacky place. Love that show.
I do as well. Do you think they'll ever bring it back? Maybe you could do a new version of it. We yeah. could. Do you know what I would like them to bring back as well? Mm -hmm. Finders Keepers with Neil Buchanan. Oh, I don't remember that. It was a great big house. Yeah. And it was all rooms and they were given a clue and they had to find, do you know what I mean, whatever the clue was, and let's just say it was, I don't know, a beach towel. So they had to ransack the rooms to try and find uh, out. No, but it's coming uh, back to me now, A yeah. beach, beach towel or, or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, I loved that. You yeah. know what I loved on Funhouse was the go-karts. Yeah. They had to put the tokens on the way around. Yeah, oh, I'm trying to think, what was the bit? I think it was just the entrance bit, the, the spinny bit. Yeah, the, the, to yeah. run through into the fun house yeah. to get all of the prizes and stuff. Mm -hmm. So good. I um, like the twins as well. Eh? I like the twins, they were good. Sarah Brown says, I always enjoy, uh, love and enjoy the Craig and Ben show. It's the best way to end the night here in Melbourne, Australia. They are so funny <laughs> together, it says here. Thank you. And Christine says, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can I use my foil press in the Granddaddy Gemini without any additional adapters? The Granddaddy Gemini. So that must be the Pro. Pro. No. 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 No, you won't, because the Pro is censored at the left and right side, so you'll mm. have nothing to go in to uh, connect with those sensors. No. So it needs to be the OG with the extending plate, or of course the uh, G2 without any extension plate. All right. We got, I reckon, by my calculations, about seven minutes left. Yeah. Can you show us something? Of course we can, yes. So what I've already done here, six by six card blank, and down the front, I've just scored down the front and folded back, so then that's starting to create a fold back card that you can see. Mats and layers, so just gone in with the blue and also the yellow. If you remember our farmyard collection. Oh, I love that collection. That's where the color card stock's from. Oh, okay. So that's where that's from. And then what I've also done here, so this was another bit of card stock, six by three inches, and I've folded back, which creates that effect there. It is going to go that way though, on top of our card. So again, it's six by three, and on one of them, I have just folded it in half, and then I've just done mats and layers with each of the panels. I've taken a piece of cardstock, so this one is two and a quarter by five and a quarter, and it's a little bit smaller than what I need, so I'm going to turn it over, I'm going to line that up, and then let's position that as and where we need. So let's take our low-tack tape, just going to hold that down, tape it onto, of course, my base plate, mm -hmm. hold that in, and then we're going to take our plate. So let's do our frosted, magnetic, and then top plate. Lift that up, align that through. This is one prime example how you can make a 6x6 Z fold card, but still only need the Gemini Mini because it's just a small platform that we are cutting. So let's take that away. Now these, you've got lots and lots of little stars that come out that you yeah. can keep and use are great for shakers. So you've got your stars and each of these points here, these all lift up. Now I'm not gonna lift them all up because I'm gonna go in with some of the lemon tonic, which we've got within that bonus buy. And I'm gonna go round the edge here. So if I work our way all the way round, and we're just getting the edges with the lemon tonic, picking it up, working our way round, creating that highlight edge, and that's going to tie in with the blue and the yellow cardstock that I used. So we're going to work our way. I'm going to make it just a little bit darker, mm -hmm. like so. And then what I'm going to do is let's take just one of our finger daubers. Let's see if we've got a yellow, as close to yellow. And then I'm just within the center, and I'm not being neat, Ben. I'm just going to go straight in. Yeah. And I'm just dabbing a highlight of the yellow. So it's the same yellow, but it looks two different tones. And then let's turn that around. Let's take my tacky glue. You can, as I said earlier on, you can absolutely use your dotty tape runner. What you just need to be careful with when it comes to all of these dies, if you want to have them all so that they're lifting up, just make sure you don't go over the points, the petals, or the wings with your glue, otherwise they're not going to lift. Mm -hmm. So let's take that panel back. So before I place that down and get that muddy with colour, let's just spritz that with water and give it a quick clean. And then let's go back in now with that panel strip. 
I'm going to add that hmm. in, you. hold that, press. Now that could be a tag if you wanted it to be, or just a smaller elongated card. So they don't have to be big cards or complex cards. And we're going to then take our pokey tool. Let's just lift these up. I'll just do a couple more just here. So lifting them up, we're just flexing the fiber of the cardstock like so. And then let's bring back in our card. So that's going to form that way. So we're going to then position it like so. So let's take here. Mm -hmm. We're going to go in with our tape like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as a little bit of a guide. I don't want to come past that central fold line. So let's add our tape there, there, there and there. I'm going to bring that back in. I'm going to close that over because it's the preferred way that I like to do it. I'm going to go right to the edge, press that in, and then I'm going to then bring that one in like so. Line that up, press that in, and then we've got friends are like stars. We can't always see them, but we but they are always there. Aww. And then I'm going to overlay that over the side with my foam pads and just, you know, I know I've done all the layers, but we've gone in with a Z fold card. Love that. You can see you can add gems, pearls, or the little die cut stars that yeah. come out, start to position them, create more of a feature. And you can do that with any of the dies within the set. Marvellous, great little quick project to finish off, but again shows you I think the versatility of this collection and the kind of things that you can achieve. Thank you so much everybody for all of the lovely comments coming through. Thank you for sending in all of your pictures as well. We really enjoyed uh, taking a little sneaky peek at all of your projects. Um, and thank you everyone for uh, your messages. Gail Moore says, hollering real loud for the foil press classes. We will um, put that to the powers that be, maybe another masterclass in the future weeks on uh, foil pressing, if that's what you want. Uh, that's you done for then, isn't it? It is indeed. Well, yeah, show-wise, show yes. Wise. Yeah, I've got uh, a lot of prep, so work that I do, but I can do that from the comfort of my ho own home, uh, where, um, yeah, we'll get ready for tomorrow's car load. Yeah, looking forward to that. It's gonna be amazing. We've got a preview at one tomorrow, UK times at 8 a.m. Eastern. 5 a.m. Pacific, and then the main event, for the main, main event. event. Five o'clock tomorrow, UK time, midday Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Um, it's gonna be fun, we've kind of, because you guys were chatting yesterday, we were able to do it. It's gonna be an interactive cartload tomorrow, let's just say, uh, with a few sort of small prizes up for grabs. If you enjoyed the bingo cartload, I think you'll enjoy this one. Uh, pens and papers at the ready tomorrow, that's all I will say. Um, we've only got an hour break now in between shows because slightly earlier than advertised. Uh, Sarah is gonna be here, so at four o'clock, that is 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. Uh, Sarah is gonna be in for March Reloaded, uh, where we're gonna be looking at some of the, well, hopefully all of the launches from March. You're gonna be seeing things like the Enchanted Oceans collection, Arabian Nights will be back, uh, that beautiful mirror car stock. We've got tons actually coming up in that show. Um, it, I think it will be down to Sarah, depending on what she wants to show you, but Illusion Film collection, uh, Sheena's bold florals, the bold geometric embossing folders, those everyday tags, uh, colour blooms, all of those and more, all of the goodies you can see if you've not yet picked them up, uh, they are live now on the website for you. Just hit the shop, the show button and you'll see all of those deals there. Plus, of course, don't forget to keep shopping our brand new spring sale. Only went live yesterday, so there's still loads of deals for you to be able to grab and up to 70% off selected items on the web. Um, thanks for watching. Craig will see you tomorrow. I will see you in an hour's time with Sarah. Until then, keep shopping and we'll see you in just a bit. But for now, Toodles!